I came from down there. Far, far away. <laughs> up this 10 mile hike from summiting Mount St. Helens. It was amazing and maybe I'll do it again but my legs are extremely tired right now and I feel pretty dead so we'll see what happens. Maybe if I uh, go to like REI and take some classes I could go out here in the winter and you're actually able to hike up in the winter with snowshoes and like an ice pick axe whatever you want to call it. This isn't Minecraft, don't worry. Um, and climb up there, and you're actually able to slide down, like, on your butt. Or, I guess you could take a sled, but that's a lot more dangerous, and I don't think you're really supposed to. Because you'd have to, I'd have to basically learn, maybe like Mount Rainier or something, in the wintertime, how to stop yourself while you're going down snow. So that you don't just keep going and fall into one of those big holes in the snow and die. But... Yeah, that'd be a fun video to record, but I have to get a GoPro first, so we'll see what happens. But, yeah, let's finish this up. That's the police guys. Basically, as you can sort of tell, there's like this search and rescue crew. Have these two little, like, road buggies or whatever you want to call them. They look pretty sweet. They're like the four-wheelers or whatever. And it's the search and rescue or Cowlitz police, whatever you want to call it. And we're looking for this guy who went missing on Friday out here in the Mount St. Helens Park and National Forest. We went missing Friday, and as of Sunday, on the news, it said they hadn't found him, and obviously they still haven't found him, and it's Tuesday. Um, they still haven't found him, of course, because they're still looking for him. So, yeah, I mean, if he's been missing for one, two, three, four days now, I mean, out here, there's no, like, streams or rivers or water. It's literally just dry or foresty. Out here, I haven't heard a single thing. I've heard a tiny little, like, creek. Like, a stream, not even a creek. That was that small. And it was like this little trickle, but you couldn't really get water from it because it was underneath rocks of the boulders I was climbing up. So, I mean, like, I don't know how you'd survive out here. There's, like, not any food. Really, unless you can catch a squirrel or a bird or you can eat enough bugs. But, like, yeah, it'd be hard to be lost out here. I was talking to the search and rescue lady because <clears throat> earlier when I was hiking, some people said that they had lost a guy. They didn't know where this guy with just like the shirtless guy that I'd seen back. They're like, yeah, the shirtless guy, we don't know where he is. He was there with us and then he wasn't and we didn't see him and... I heard yelling later on, so maybe they found him, and I asked the lady for the search and rescue, like, Are you guys looking for this guy? And she's like, no, we're looking for some guy who went missing on Friday, but there's, like, people all, search and rescue teams all over looking for all sorts of people, so. Yeah, basically, she also said that I'm super close to the parking lot, which was amazing news, yet I'm still walking. You see this? I'm still walking. I just want to get back, and I'm just wondering, how are you going to drive, how do they expect to drive a four-wheeler through this area? Because, like, what the actual heck, though, because you see this terrain, and driving a four-wheeler through here, and also later on through the forest, which they haven't seen yet, gets a lot narrower, and it's harder to get through. Like, how do they expect to do that? But, I mean, whatever. Their choice. 
I mean, I guess they're trying to find the guy, but it's just, I feel like they'd be better on maybe like an electric bike or something. Not these big, wide four-wheelers, but whatever. If I keep walking, I'm going to have to go get the search and rescue team to rescue me. Because my legs and my feet are dead. Help! I feel like I'm going to like get back. It's going to be a different parking lot than the one that I went to. You know, I would suck so bad if it was a different parking lot. Because then, first of all, up here in these mountains, there's no cell service. Second of all, I have an iPod, which I'm recording with right now. iPod, not a phone, so I wouldn't get service if there was. Ooh, I found the way out. Yes, I'm back. Ah. Uh... <laughs>